Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a which will display the range column chart. The third chart child of the column widget is a chart column 3 class. First, you need to create a chart column 3 class. The child of the chart column 3 is a card widget, which will create a rounded rectangle with a shadow effect. We set the color to a white color, which will define the background color of the card. We set the surface tint color to a white color, which will define the tint color of the card. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border widget, which will create rounded corners for the card. The child of the card widget is a padding widget, which will add some space around the content. The child of the padding widget is a column widget. We set the cross axis alignment property to cross axis alignment dot start, which will align the widgets to the start of the column. The first child of the column widget is a row widget. We set the main axis alignment property to main axis alignment dot space between, which will align the widgets with equal space between them. The children of the row widget are the widgets that display the title and the menu icon. The first child of the row widget is a text widget, which will display the word population. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 28 pixels, a bold font weight, and a black color. The second child of the row widget is a SVG picture widget, which will display an SVG image from the assets folder. The second child of the column widget is a size box widget, which will create some space between the widgets. The third child of the column widget is a Ceph Cartesian chart widget, which will display the range column chart. To use Ceph Cartesian chart in Flutter, we need to add these packages to our pubspec.yaml file, like this. The plot area background color property sets the background color of the plot area, the area where the data is plotted, to transparent, which means that it will not have any color. We set the margin property to an edge insets widget, which will define the amount of space around the chart. The border color property sets the color of the border of the chart to transparent, which means that it will not have any color. The border width property sets the width of the border of the chart to zero, which means that there will be no border. The plot area border width property sets the width of the border of the plot area to zero which means that there will be no border. The enable side-by-side -side series placement property sets whether the series the data sets in the chart are placed side-by-side -side or stacked on top of each other. The value false means that the series are stacked on top of each other. The primary x-axis property sets the x-axis of the chart to a category axis widget, which is a type of axis that displays categorical values such as text labels. The isVisible property sets whether the x-axis is visible or not. The value false means that the x-axis is not visible. The primary y-axis property sets the y-axis of the chart to a numeric axis widget, which is a type of axis that displays numerical values. The isVisible property sets whether the y-axis is visible or not. The value false means that the y-axis is not visible. The minimum property sets the minimum value of the y-axis. The value zero means that the lowest value on the y-axis is zero. The maximum property sets the maximum value of the y-axis. The value 2 means that the highest value on the y-axis is 2. The interval property sets the interval between the values on the y-axis. 
the value 0 0.5 means that the values on the y-axis are spaced by 0 0.5 units. The chart column data class is a custom class that defines the data model for the range column chart. The constructor of the class takes nine parameters, x, low 1, high 1, low 2, high 2, low 3, high 3, low 4, and high 4. The x property is a string that represents the label for the data point on the x-axis. The low property is a final double that represents the lower value of data. The high property is a final double that represents the higher value of data. The variable chart data is a list of chart column data objects that contains the data for the chart. The series property sets the list of Cartesian series widgets which define the data sets that are plotted on the chart. The first element of the list is a range column series widget which will display the first data set as vertical columns with a range of values. We set the border radius property to a border radius widget, which will create rounded corners for the columns. We set the data source property to a constant list of chart column data objects, which will provide the data for the chart. We set the extract visible property to true, which will show the track of the columns. We set the track border width property to zero, which will remove the border width of the track. We set the track color to a custom color with the hexadecimal which will define the color of the track. The width property sets the width of the columns as a fraction of the available space. The value 0 0.5 means that the columns take up half of the available space. We set the color of the columns to a custom color with the hexadecimal. We set the x value mapper property to an anonymous function that takes a chart column data object and returns its x property, which will map the x values of the data to the x axis of the chart. We set the high value mapper property to an anonymous function that takes a chart column data object and returns its high one property, which will map the high one values of the data to the higher end of the columns. We set the low value mapper property to an anonymous function that takes a chart column data object and returns its low one property, which will map the low one values of the data to the lower end of the columns. The second element of the list is a range column series widget which will display the second data set as vertical columns with a range of values. We copy the first range column series widget and remove the track, then change the color and the low and high of the columns. The fourth child of the column widget is a sized box widget, which will create some space between the widgets. The fifth child of the column widget is a row widget. The children of the row widget are the widgets that display the color indicators and the year labels. The first child of the row widget is a container widget, 
which will display a color indicator for the first data set. We set the width of the container to 27 pixels. We set the height of the container to 13 pixels. We use a box decoration widget to create a color and a border radius. The second child of the row widget is a sized box widget, which will create some space. The third child of the row widget is a text widget, which will display the word 2010. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 14 pixels, a medium font weight, and a black color. sized box widget which will create some space. We copy the container and text widgets and then change the words and color. The sixth child of the column widget is a sized box widget, which will create some space. The seventh child of the column widget is a text widget, which will display the words historic world population. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 22 pixels, a bold font weight, and a black color. The last child of the column widget is a text widget which will display a short description of the data. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 16 pixels, a normal font weight and a grey color. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.